I would like everyone to just take a moment of silence. Alright, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the Raptors taking on the Pacers. Both teams coming in one and one. And remember, this is not an 82 game season. This is a 15 game season. Kind of close to football. Uh, every game counts. You know, you don't have time to go on a losing streak. And, uh, Jay Fresh and Luke Crown bring to the table. They will be out there. Well, Jay Fresh will be out there. Luke Crown, he's not starting. He's not in the starting five, but he is getting play time, so we will get to see him. And then, of course, on the other side of the ball, uh, you know, Denton has had a, a fast start, so we'll see what those subscribers can do, Clay and Denton, as me and my PS4 jet engine are ready to watch this game. I don't know what to do, guys. 2K kind of sucks as far as, like, man. Like, come on, why does it sound like whenever I whenever I play this game, whenever I play 2K, it sounds like a freaking engine, dude. It's like the PS4 cannot handle it. Also, I wanna watch a 2K. Let me know how I can save my camera angle. It, it seems to change every time. The Pacers start so you see it right there. Home court advantage for the Pacers is a B minus. That's actually pretty cool that they take that into effect. We'll see if it's enough. Um, Jones here. Shot clock dwindling down, gives it to Moreland, and it's blocked by Bowl right there. And now the Raptors have one of the best players in the league on the court. Keep that in mind, Jones. Jones here. We'll see what they do. First possession did not go good for the Pacers. Jones with the bounce Jones gives it to Jay Fresh. Jay Fresh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna try and take it. Nothing opening, so he dumps it off to Bush. Bush is just going to wait and loses the ball. And, oh, wow. Fast break. Oh, Deacon Denton, the subscriber, back to their team leader who misses a three. But the offensive rebound. Oh, my goodness. That's overpowered right there. Two offensive rebounds right there by Bowl. And he's going to get the ball back. He is a... He knows how to drop those three points. They got to finish here, though. Three seconds on the shot clock, and that's enough to make it 4-0 here. And Luca, the best player in the league. You've seen it. He's averaging 41 points per game out of the two games they've played. That's freaking dominating. No one else is close to his level right now um, in the league. We'll see how... You know how long he can hold it is right now no one can really even challenge him at all but there's a nice steal by jay fresh on the veteran the rookie can he finish it going down the court no he doesn't finish it it does not matter if you can't finish and right there now it's clay subscriber clay does a spin and he can't finish on the other side so give it right back to clay taking a three so we just seen a lot of subscribers miss. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's slow this thing down for a minute. Because I'm struggling commentating basketball as it is. Uh, the po So, really quick. What, what a play by Jay Fresh, the rookie. Really, really quick, let's just... Because I got to see what happened, man. I'm so focused on trying to not sound dumb. I kind of missed what happened. So... Right here, Jay Fresh just got a steal off of the best player in the N NBA right now in the league. Stole it. Took it down there. Beautiful play by the, a rookie, but unfortunately he just cannot finish it. So then the Raptors get the ball, and it's actually subscriber Clay um, Lewandowski. Hopefully that's correct. He takes it. He drives it down, nice spin move on Bush, but then he can't finish it. And then it leads to an offensive rebound, then gives it right back to Clay, who takes another shot and misses again. Another offensive rebound, give it right back to the best player in the league. What's he going to do with it? He's going to sink it from the three-point line and double-man coverage. 
Jeez, freaking Louise. You got to be kidding me. We got to... Oh, that is... Uh, how do I... Actually, how do I... Can I get free camera right here? Like, look at... Dude, it doesn't get much, much better than that right there. Guys in your face. Oh, you can definitely tell the Pacers are feeling a little worried here. Oh, he, oh my God. This man, Luka, is on fire. He is on fire right now. Toronto, 10 to 2 over the Pacers. In this league, oh wow. Okay, there's a little bit of dumb defense right there by the Raptors. So, in this league, winning your away games is one of the most important things that you have to do. That's a big time and, and a big time finish. That's what makes Toronto so good as that's gonna be finished. Oh no. Miss. Good rebound. Bush is gonna get it. And we'll see. Jay Fresh, what's he gonna do? Here's Fresh. Clay versus Fresh. Subscriber versus subscriber. One on one. What's gonna happen? Nice. Oh, Clay. Good defense by Clay right there. And good good defensive rebound. But yeah, you know, the Raptors, they know how to win on the road, and that's what makes them a threat, in my opinion, for a playoff run. You know, they know how to win these hard road games. And the Pacers are not a no pushover team. So, again, there's a lot of, there's plenty of time in this game. So, this could still go either way, but the Pacers only have four points on the board right now. What's Bush going to do? He's going to, he's going to try and force the foul, and he gets exactly that. So, good play by Bush. He is, he's got two points on the night. Chance to make it four. And Deion Bush is averaging 17 points per game, and he's 100% at the line. This is exactly the type of guy you want to send to the line. So, we'll see here. The Pacers have a good home field advantage, so if they can just get this game back kind of close, that, that'll really help them out here. They're going to have to stop this guy right here, though. This man right here has got the league by storm. Oh my goodness. Uh, through his, out throughout his career. Now Jay Fresh, subscriber rookie, and he finishes that one. He makes sure to finish that one. Beautiful play. He's averaging 17 and a half uh, points per game so far out of the two games he's played. And Luca here, what's he gonna do? Dumps it. Oh my goodness. A beautiful pass right there. And it's just the chemistry that Toronto has here. As we're going into the second quarter, 26 to 15. So yeah, that, that time I didn't really help him that much. And look at the scout advice. Give less minutes to Jay Fresh. Uh-oh. Give more minutes to Russell Westbrook. Yikes, I didn't know Russell Westbrook was on this roster. We haven't really seen him much. He is probably like 40 years old at this point. Because I did upgrade their ages, by the way. So, here we go. We'll see what they can do. We'll probably take this one into halftime unless it gets pretty close. 37-25. Raptors, they still got that momentum. They're outscoring the Pacers here in the second half as well. Yeah, and this one is getting pretty ugly at this point wow what's happened to the Pacers here I thought we were gonna see a closer game so it is we're gonna watch we're gonna we're gonna jump back in here early it's early in the third 66 to 48 we'll see what the uh, Pacers can do they can try and make this close again there's Jay Fresh on Brooks here Loses him for a second, gets back on him. Good defense by Fresh. Second chance opportunity. Here we go. So there, you see it right there. Eighth in the NBA for points. Jay Fresh, what's he gonna do? He, oh, he can't finish. He gets blocked. He just tried to force it, and he got blocked. And it's Moreland. Here we go, Brooks. Oh wow, left gave him space, but can't get it to go down. Offense of rebound, then sets up the shooting foul. And the side wow, and Toronto has dominated with rebounds as well. For, for so that's defense, that's really especially when he's trying his That's really helped the Raptors here tonight. Scoring. First trip to the line for him. And they've been very good at the line.
And this right here, a chance to make it a 20-point game. Both shots good from the strike. He's going to try and finish. Oh, my goodness. Another offensive rebound sets up the three-pointer that goes down. Luka, he does not miss from that far. He's only gotten better and better throughout his career. And you got to get rebounds. If you're the Pacers, they are... To the wing on the left. They're giving up too many offensive rebounds, and it's ridiculous. And that's why they're getting just embarrassed at home right now. He liked to have that one back. And here we go, the hot, fast break right there. Oh, give it to Luca from the three-point line. Oh, misses it right there. Now Jay Fresh has it. What's he going to do? He's going to pass it into Bush. Who Bush is going to finish it. Good assist right there by Jay Fresh. And company, Deion Bush has nine points in the first half. He was shooting 33% at the field goal percentage. And uh, now we get to see Ditton come out here. We haven't seen him much here today. And uh, Luca misses. That was a bad pass right there. Or a bad shot. Bush out to Jay Fresh from wide open. And he can't sink it. Wow. What's he going to do? Dumps it down to who gets the shooting foul. Jay Fresh right there. He's upset, saying, are you kidding me? That was not a foul. Are you kidding me right now? And honestly, I feel bad for these home fans. Pacers have not given them anything to watch, really. Embarrassing gets blocked. Beautiful block right there. Luca from the three-point line, and he drains it. Oh my goodness. This is just devastating. Another three pointer drained by Luca. Bush right here. What's he going to do? He's going to take it in. Draws the foul, but can't finish. So, two points. A chance at two points. And yeah, this is a. Uh, Number one, <laughs> Man, I just don't even know. Something <laughs> this is insane. You see it here. Points, last 30 days, basically the beginning of the season. Um, it's not even really a close race, to be honest with you. 76 to 50. And we'll probably, after this, we'll probably start semi into the fourth. And it, hopefully it'll be maybe a little bit closer. I always like to see a good game. But if it's not, we're going to go ahead and you know, get through this game as the Pacers are clearly not on the same level as the Raptors. And there it is. So 105 to 77 going into the fourth. This is not what the Pacers were expecting, I'm sure. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Maybe they can pull it up. They're scoring a little more here in the fourth, but it's not enough. We'll send it to two minutes and We'll take a look at, we'll watch the rest of this game. Why not? I mean, it's not close, but let's at least see what they can do here. Two minutes, 136 to 107. Luke Crown gets the ball, passes it to Moreland. That's a subscriber, Luke Crown. Jay Fresh to Luke Crown, who can't finish. Oh, goodness, that's rough. That would have been a nice connection from two subscribers. Luca from the three-point line. Don't do it to him. Oh, it was so close. Here we go, Luke Crown. Our first look at him. He's going to try and muscle his way there. Changes his mind here. Passes out to Winnington. What's he going to do with it? Five. Four. Three. He's going to have to do something. He's just going to take a shot and can't drain it. But offensive rebound by Hayes can't go in either. Even though he missed it, this is the ball to the Raptors who will take their time with this. You know, there's no need to force anything. Luca dumped down. Brooks now has it. In a true show. Harris going to take it into the paint. What's he going to do with it? Takes a shot and that's a wild shot there. But tonight, gives the ball to Jay Fresh. He's going to take it down the court. To deliver out. Setting up a play here. They definitely never changed the Dumps it down to Luke Crown, who and showed they were gonna have to do something with it. He's gonna take a shot, and it's oh miss. Luke Crown misses. Not a good start for him. Ditton, subscriber Ditton gets it. It was a dancing game for Luka Doncic. Pass out to Ditton. Outpouring the points from him. Dumps it down to his team captain. Gives it to Harris inside the paint. Beautiful play by the Raptors. 
Here we go, Luke Crown. Is, is he gonna take a shot? No, not even gonna take another shot. A big margin. So that's kind of cool, man. 2K, like, look at the stadium, man. dude. They dipped out of here. They said, dude, I don't want to see this. But they never got it. They sure. Wow, what a dominating performance we just witnessed here today. Efficient performance. There was Jay Fresh, Luke Crown. And now let's catch up with. There's just not much you can do. The Pacers. All right, Luke. Thanks for joining us. So you know, you you played so well at the three-point line. You know, what what was it that made you play great? Well, you know, I was just shooting those shots, and those shots were shooting themselves into the basket you know it just comes natural for me um okay well uh thank you luca thank you for joining Let's look at the box score so for the pacers luke crown had 23 points but he was playing mostly when we weren't watching so that's why we didn't really get to see luke crown too much but he had a good day believe it or not seven out of 17 so he took uh but it was it was his three points that really helped him boost up his points uh, four out of six. Jay Fresh. We got to see a lot of him, and he was struggling at the three-point line. Struggling. You know? Uh, one out of seven. So, but uh, pay attention, though. They are both the top performers for their team. And that's surprising and actually something to take pride in because they're both rookies. So, that's pretty awesome. As far as Luka goes, dude, who is stopping this man? He just dropped a 50 bomb. He just dropped a 50 bomb. He was had 41 coming into this. He just dropped 51 points on these guys. Yo, what the fluff, dog? Oh my goodness, man. Who, there's nobody on this man's level. He's 18 out of 38. Huh, 11 out of 23. This man was just, he was just firing the ball like oh my goodness he's setting records right now for the MBA matter of fact that is a MBA record the most points in a game 51 we'll have to keep our eyes out to see if that can ever get beat but as far as subscribers go Denton got 13 points you see it right there 5 out of 12 and um, then Clay he was 0 for 6 on, at the three-point line, which is unfortunate. And 3 out of 16 for field goal percentage. So he had a bad day, honestly. Uh, but he did get 9 points at least, and he got 9 rebounds. Either way, it doesn't matter. When you have the best guy in the league on your team, you can still win games even if your team's not playing right. So, what a dominating performance. We're going to sim a little bit, and then let's take a look at around the league. Alrighty guys, so here we are. We're gonna take a look around the league. Um, I want to take a look as my it's whenever I get into the menus the PlayStation gets the loudest So I do apologize for that guys. Hopefully it's not ruining the videos for you um, League leaders dude, let's let's talk about it this man his point average. I thought it was gonna go down No, it went up. It's to 44 now Zion Williams is trying or Williamson should I say uh, but it's just, he's on a whole different level, man. I mean, it, it's a big drop off. Then you got LaMelo Ball, Kyrie Irving. I mean, uh, yeah, so he is 35. So I was correct about that. So he's 35 and he's just dominating the league, man. Dominating. For rookie report, uh, it's still Lane McAllister at 19. They haven't played yet, I don't think. Jay Fresh did play, so he gets a boost, actually. He did, he did pretty decent. He's... You know what I mean? So, um, you know, uh, I don't know. It, this is interesting how this is playing out. I wanted to take, I don't think any other teams have played yet, so it was just that one game. But just so I could show you guys, uh, that, that win was pretty big for the uh, Raptors because that puts them at 2-1. and one, So, not bad at all. Not bad at all for them. Yeah, no other teams have played yet. And that will probably be in next episode. So real quick, last year's standings. The Raptors had finished 6-9. and nine, And they're trying to... So we just watched the two bottom feeder teams go at it right now. Both of them trying to, you know, turn it around. The Pacers only won two games last year. The worst in history. 
out of the five seasons that have, that have been played in the NBA, they only won two games. The Raptors are on the right track. Question is, what are the Pacers going to do? Are they going to, you know, fall back down or are they going to try and move up? We'll, we'll have to find out. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, can't wait to record next episode. You guys let me know what teams you think are going to make a deep run in season number one. But as always, guys, I will see you on the next episode.